Oh, hey. Uh, you okay? No, I'm fine. I just wanted to break from the party. I'm kind of an introvert, you know? I can't be that social for that long. It's pretty draining, uh, getting to know new people. And I hate being the new arrival. Anyway, um, do you want a drink? I think there's some left in the cooler. Here, I'll get it for you. I've only had one myself. Uh, just to be social, you know? You never want to be the only one who isn't drinking. Uh, to be honest though, um, I'm not really into that kind of thing. Uh, parties in the middle of nowhere, I mean. I, I get it's typical teenage rebellion, but it's just not for me. Uh, but since I'm new around here, I, I thought I'd better make an effort. Yeah, I moved here like two weeks ago. I really don't talk this much. Um, usually, I don't know. You just seem easy to talk to. Uh, I bet people tell you that all the time, huh? No, or they say that you've got a kind face or a good aura or something like that. T to be honest, I'm actually pretty glad you showed up. I was a little worried that this was going to turn out to be a prank or a hazing, you know, like Carrie. Have you seen that movie? The weird shy kid gets invited to the prom and uh, they rig the votes to make her the prom queen and then, well, then they dump a bucket of pig's blood all over her. Um, to be fair, I think the other kids had a night as bad as Carrie ended up having. Nah, but hey, nobody's balanced a bucket of blood in the tree branches or anything, uh, as far as I can tell anyway. Though, uh, considering where we are, hazing is probably the last thing we should be worried about. Uh, I definitely wouldn't have organized a party here. <laughs> Not after all the things that have happened here. Feels a little like tempting fate, you know? <laughs> uh, okay, okay, yeah, so maybe I wasn't being 100% clear with you. Yeah, I actually grew up here. Um, I'm technically a local, I guess. <laughs> I know all the rumors and all the dirty little secrets. You know, the stuff the tourist board doesn't want you to know about. Nah, I actually left a few years ago. Uh, didn't go far or anything. Um, but then I think a lot of people eventually come back to their hometown. Oh, anyway, I'm getting off track. Uh, you're not here to listen to my history. We were talking about the history of the forest, right? Yeah, I, I think this place has always been trouble. Um, but I only know back as far as the 70s, because my folks grew up here too. And yeah, in the 70s, there were cabins here. It was like a vacation park or something. Uh, totally normal, totally fine. <laughs> oh, but this, this group of kids <laughs> rented out one of the cabins for a long weekend. And, uh, well, they didn't come home like normal. And by the time the cops went out to check, uh, there was only one kid left. He had killed all the others, convinced they were possessed by demons. Some people say he even chewed off his own hands. Uh, but I'm not totally convinced. Yeah, gross, right? Uh, so they tore down all the cabins. Uh, Nobody wanted to stay in them anymore. <laughs> and, and the kid who survived was just never the same. And I actually think he ended up in a group home or something. Yeah, so, um, yeah, nothing happened with this place again until the 80s. Uh, that's when they built the lake. <laughs> Bet you didn't know it was man-made, did you? Yeah, they kept it as a vacation spot, just without the cabins. Tents and RVs only. And they closed up over the winter. Uh, you know, j just in case. <laughs> but then a bunch of kids showed up again. <laughs> it's not like this place is hard to get to, right? <laughs> I mean, we made it here. Uh, anyway, the parents noticed that their kids never came home, and, uh, well, the cops went out again, and they found the kids. All drowned. All floating in the lake. But the weird thing is, um, they all had bruises, like someone had held them under the water. I mean, that's the rumor anyway. Like, they actually died. Um, like, they're all actually at the local cemetery. Uh, I'm not sure about the bruises, though. I mean, it could be true. But if it was, like, 
Who killed them? And why? No. Uh, oh. Mm. oh, okay. Uh, where'd we get to? Oh, the 90s. <laughs> right, cool. Flannel shirts and crunch. Yeah, it wasn't as interesting that time. <laughs> Just some kid in a mask. Nah, don't get me wrong, it was like a decent body count. Teenagers again, partying. The lake got closed after the drownings, and, well, they hadn't opened it back up yet. But the people who owned the forest, well, they just gave up on making it a vacation spot and, uh, well, just left it as wildlife. <laughs> Made it harder to find all the bodies once the police realized what was happening. Ugh, weird thing is, it depends on who you talk to. Um, some people say they got the kid in the mask and, well... Some people say they definitely didn't, and that he's still out there somewhere. <laughs> You'd be able to spot him, though. I mean, one of the girls at the party got away, and she managed to, uh, ooh, ooh scar him up pretty good. Burns, I think. Mm, not sure. Anyway, the town, well, they just blamed it on that generation being uh, desensitized to violence and eh, moved on. Hey, I'm not boring you, am I? <laughs> we made it to the naughties, at least. <laughs> ah, the naughties. It was all about... Ugh, I don't really know. I guess shapeshifters, aliens, skinwalkers. Yeah, something like that. Ah, videotape ghosts, probably. <laughs> it was all centered around the internet, anyway. Yeah, like, these people got texts with uh, locations on them. You know, like... Longitude and latitude. And like, apparently, when you put the coordinates into Google, it'd bring up a location. And, well, when the people went there, they just, uh, they just disappeared. No, seriously, like, vanished. And there were never any answers. Uh, the people just never showed up again. Uh, I mean, some of their stuff did. Like a backpack, or a shoe, or a chunk of hair. Um exactly at the location the text said. Yeah, it was one of those things where everybody had a friend of a friend who totally got the text and totally went missing. <laughs> uh, I bet you can guess where those locations were. Yep, these woods. Every single one. <laughs> Weird, right? <laughs> so, 2010s. Uh, this forest has a hell of a history. Yeah, Get it? Oh, wait, no. Sorry, sorry. Uh, that, that doesn't make any sense until I uh, tell you what happened. Taha, that's a waste of a pun. <laughs> oh, but um, yeah, there were Satanists here. Like, a lot of groups believed that the whole area had some kind of mm, demonic energy around it. I mean, how many times can a group of teenagers get, well, massacred before you spot a pattern, right? Ugh. And there were multiple groups here. Like, oh, uh, let me think. Um... The Most High Priests of Satan, the Servants of Beelzebub, the Legion of Baal, and this one weird fringe group called, uh, <coughs> uh culty <laughs> cult face. Uh, yeah, no, really, really. Oh, but don't let the name fool you. I mean, the cops are pretty sure that they were just as responsible for a large number of the fires. No, nah, not arson. No, no. Fires. Just fires that started out of, uh, out of nowhere, um, and on people. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and once the fires died down, well, all the stuff that was left behind, you know, the remains. Ugh. Yeah, they all had this sigil from, uh, culty Mick cult face <laughs> burned into them. <laughs> Creepy, right? I mean... They never managed to work out how someone could just, uh, burst into flames. <laughs> teenagers again, though. <laughs> of course, it's always teenagers. Ah, <sighs> well, that brings us to today, doesn't it? Nah, nothing's happened yet. Um, well, except, um... <laughs> well, I, I don't want to scare you, like, all of these stories. 
yeah, I mean, they're probably just stories. Like, there's a little grain of truth here or there, but I mean, come on. Like, demon possession, cults, internet ghosts. Ugh, none of that stuff's real. I mean, still though, like, did you hear about the escape from the nut house? Like, you know, the, the security unit, <laughs> the criminally insane? How do you not know about this? Uh, yeah, it's like the massive building on the other side of the lake. Yeah, once the forest was no good for, like, social stuff, the owners sold it to the government. And, well, they put a security unit in it. I mean, like, really intense stuff, like, uh, full-time solitary, straight jackets, muzzles. <laughs> uh, I heard they do lobotomies and stuff in there. Uh, but yeah, so one of their most dangerous inmates like escaped um, into the woods a couple weeks back. Um, and as far as we know, well, hasn't been caught yet. So um, yeah, I mean, I wouldn't be in the woods with someone out there at large. <laughs> Not if I were you. <laughs> hey, anyway, I've really enjoyed talking to you. You're such good company. Ah, so tell you what. I'll do you a favor, okay? You start running now, and I'll leave you until last. If I catch you. <laughs> no, really, you should probably get going. <laughs> I know there's a lot of people here, but I work very quickly. And secure unit orderlies are much more of a challenge than partying teenagers. <laughs> See you soon. If you don't run fast enough, that is. <laughs> Sorry to bother you, but uh, if you made it this far in the video and you're not subscribed, would you mind hitting that subscribe button for me? Thanks a bunch.